So, hello everyone, I am Mark Vincent Tanyo from BSIT Wanda Street. Today, um, I will discuss to you the chapter 10, Discovering Computers 2016, the continuation of the report of Maria Teresa Vidal. So, let's start. Transmission media. <clears throat> Transmission media is a pathway that carries the information from sender to receiver. Uh, we use different types of cables or waves to transmit data. Data is transmitted normally through electrical or electromagnetic signals. Transmission carries one or more communication signals. Broadband media transmit multiple signals simultaneously. Uh, uh, the amount of data instruction and information that can travel over transmission media, sometimes called bandwidth. Latency is the time it takes a signal to travel from one location to, an to another on a network. Uh, next is physical transmission media. Physical transmission media used in communications include twisted pair cable, coaxial cable, and fiber optic cable. These cables typically are used within or underground between buildings, Ethernet, and taken ring lands of our used physical transmission media. So, this is the wires. Twisted pair cable. Twisted pair cable consists of one or more twisted pairs wires handled together each twist handled together each twisted pair wire consists of two separate insulated copper wires that are twisted together the wires are twisted together to reduce noise to reduce noise noise is an electrical disturbance that can degrade communications next is coaxial cable as you can see to the picture coaxial cable Cable often referred to as coax or coax. Co coax is consists of single copper. Ayan, single copper. Wire surrounded by at least three layers. So you can see the to the picture. There are three layers. One uh, is insulating material. Second is woven or braided metal, and the third is plastic outer coating. Next is fiber optic cable. Uh, <clears throat> the core of the fiber optic cable consists of dozens or hundreds of thin strands of glass or plastic that use light to transmit signals to transmit signals so you can see to the pictures there are so many of wires there's a man of wires and each strand is called an optical fiber optical fiber is a thin thin as a human's hair maliliit lang sila parang sa book ko <laughs> so Inside the fiber optic cable, an insulating, gla insulating glass cladding and a protective coating surrounds each optical fiber. So, yun yung fiber optical cable, twisted pair cable, and coaxial cable. Next is wireless transmission media. Wire wireless transmission media this is, is a form of unguided media. Wireless communication involves physical link established between two or more devices communicating wirelessly. Wireless signals are sp spread over in the air and are received and interpreted by appropriate antennas. 
Broadcast radio. Broadcast radio is a wireless transmission medium that distributes radio radio signals through the air over long distance. So, yun. Radio frequency is easier to generate and because of its large wavelength, it can penetrate to through walls and structures alike. Radio waves can have frequency from 1 mm to 1, 1, 100,000 kilometers and have frequency radio. Cellular, cellular radio. Cellular radio is a form of broadcast radio that is in wide use for mobile communication. Cellular radio or cellular mobile or mobile phone radio is basically a device which use receiver and transmitter wireless communication can also be carried out without using radio. The interference caused by high power line to radio transmission is an example of wireless communication through it is termed as noise. So next is microwaves. Microwaves are radio waves that provide a high speed signal transmission. So mic Microwave is the transmission of information or energy by microwave radio waves. As you can see to the picture, there is a three tower thing. Parang nagko connect sila. So next is. <coughs> Uh, a communication satellite in a, is a space station that receives microwave signals from an earth-based station amplifies it and broadcasts the signal over a wide area to any number of earth-based station. So, communication satellite is an artificial is an artificial sat satellite that relays and amplifies radio te telecommunications signals by a transponder transponder it creates a communication channel between a source transmitter and a receiver at different locations on earth communication satellite is used for televisions telephones radios internet and etc so next is the last one, GPS. A GPS or Global Positioning System is a navigation system that consists one or more Earth-based receive receivers that accept and analyze signals sent by satellites in order to de determine the receiver's geographical locations. So, yun. GPS is a satellite-based radio navigation system owned by the United States government. Um, so, yun. Ang GPS. GPS is. Uh, 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 <laughs> satellite base po ito. Na. Kaunting kalaman lang po. Yung GPS is pagmamayari ng United States government and operated by the United, United States Air Force. It is a global navigation satellite system that provides geolocation and time information to a GPS receiver anywhere or on or near the earth where there is an unobstructed line of sight to four or more GPS satellites. So, that's all and uh, thank you.